years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I entered the family court system when I was four years old after disclosing to my mother that my father, Jamie Rosenthal, was abusing me. Instead of protecting me, our judge, Susan Rankin, who has been voted out of office twice and falsely claimed that she was a psychologist, sentenced me to eight more years of molestation, physical and mental abuse, and hell. Eight more years of my father inserting his fingers into my vagina under the pretense that he was applying medicine to me. Eight more years of my wrist being broken at least twice a year. Eight more years of my father picking me up underneath the armpits and swinging me around in a circle until I would vomit so that he would not leave any marks of me. Eight more years of being called names like slut, fat, useless, and stupid every single day of my life. And to top it all off, Susan Rankin barred me for seeing my mother at all for three of these years. For eight years, every single member of the family court system that my mother, her attorneys, and experts pleaded to to save me accused her of alienating me and telling me what to say. I would like to clarify for everyone that the only thing my mother ever told me was to tell the truth. That is correct. A small child was articulate enough to describe her abuse and was not being coerced because I know this may be shocking, but the vast majority of mothers are not part of a man-hating cult that brainwashes children into hating their fathers. And for a judge to punish a mother for merely repeating what her child told her is heinous. However, the family court system and the abusers do attempt to brainwash children into thinking that they must accept their fate and live the rest of their lives being tortured by the abusive parent despite their many outcries. In fact, they are stop, taught to stop out crying at all. When someone abuses their dog and authorities are alerted, the dog is promptly removed from their home, placed with a loving owner, and the offender serves jail time or is severely punished. So let me pose a question to you all. Why are we treating dogs better than we are treating the children in our own communities? Why are we treating dogs better than our own children? Now, I would like to share with everyone how I got safe and why I am where I am today. At age 12, my father attempted to rape me. While I did not know it was rape at the time, I disclosed this to my therapist and she told me that it was rape. After this, I decided that I needed to start telling my truth and that it was time to stop repressing everything even though I was afraid that nobody would believe me because nobody had for 12 years of my life. After I told my therapist, I told a teacher at school and I was shocked to learn that she believed me. The teacher called Child Protective Services who gave me a one week restraining order against my father and my therapist wrote an affidavit describing everything in detail that my father had done to me. After 24 hours, my father received a copy of this affidavit and he terminated his own rights. He did this not because he loved me and claimed he wanted to protect me from my mother who he said was crazy and alienating me, but because he knew he had lost and he'd better get out quick before he got thrown in jail for what he did. Jamie Rosenthal lives in New York with his parents, Stephen and Rena Rosenthal, who also allowed me to be abused. Stephen himself abused Rena and Susan Rankin, knowing this after seeing police reports with pictures detailing my grandmother's throat bruise from being strangled just like I was, forced me to live with them while deciding to rip me for my mother's loving arms. Now about my present and future. I am currently a part of, the law, of a law magnet school in, at school in Dallas, Texas, and participate on my school's mock trial team where I learn to advocate. I have wonderful friends, two dogs, and am no longer afraid when someone yells my name loudly. I plan on attending college next year and majoring in human rights, followed by law school so that I can help fix this broken system and save kids like myself, just like Richard Ducote does. Just because we are not Olympians or famous actresses does not mean that I and the other children in my situation do not deserve to be heard or acknowledged nationally. We have been begging the world to listen to us for decades, and now that everyone else is finally saying me too, maybe we will get our chance to make a change. I would like to thank you, Richard, for helping to save me. And Mom, I would like to thank you for always believing in me and going through your own nine personal years of hell for me. Jamie, Stephen, and Rena Rosenthal, Diane Snyder, Scott Beecham, Susan Rankin, Gail Enman, and Dr. John Zervopoulos, I am strong. You tried to break me, but you didn't. Nice try. People of America, I know you may think that this is not your problem or that you cannot help, but let me pose one final question to you. If it isn't your problem, then whose is it? Thank you.